Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're meeting Sharon, who is living in this uh, pickup with the camper shell, just a standard shell. And so we're gonna visit with her and learn about her and what, I think there are a lot of things we're gonna hear that can be applied to many, many people and be useful. So Sharon, how long have you been uh, kind of a nomad? Two years, two, since 2015. 2015, and has it been in the truck? It has been off and on in the truck and couch surfing. That's C good. Couch surfing from east to west, east to west coast um, with my friends and family. Mm -hmm. And so you have been homeless or houseless for two years. Yes. And when you can, you stay with friends. And then you, when you don't, you're in the, in the pickup. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, why are you doing that? 2015, divorce. Uh, empty nester and midlife crisis all at the same time. Working a job for nine years at Intel that I didn't like. And that I sounds just, like. And paying for bills that I can't afford for an empty house, and a job I don't like. And so I'm just like, why? And then I was watching the YouTube video. You have a choice. Yes. And you decided to take it. And I sold my all my vehicles, my motorcycles, my cars, and I filed a bankruptcy and just gave up the house with it. And then gave away everything I owned. <laughs> kind of a, a, a rebirth. Yes. I like to think of it as a butterfly. Yes, I could have been a bit more prepared, but I'm working on the van, getting one. <laughs> yes, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah. And so um, you you are in your pickup shell, and how much, how much of the two years have you been actually living in the pickup shell? A couple weeks at a time. Um, like I went to McGuire Air Force Base and stayed there with my daughter for six months. You can only stay there so long. Um, well, first I went to San Jose, California. Oh, I'm from Cali, all my family's there. So I went there, got a, another job I didn't like. It was a temp and I didn't, just didn't like California anymore. <laughs> so then I went all the way to the East Coast to my daughter's. Oh, I stopped in Mountain Ranch, California and house sat a ranch. And then I went to my friend of Reno's and stayed with her for like, a month, then to New Jersey, McGuire Air Force Base, and after six months, then I came back here. I thought my kids were my kids, my daughter and son-in-law were going to get out of the Air Force and come back here because he's from here. But they delayed for like two and a half years, so then I was here, and then I ran out of money. I was visiting a friend here, a, a fellow photographer friend, nice Canon by the way, <laughs> and. Uh, I ended up staying I had to get a job in January and um, ended up paying rent to rent a room from him. And then I had shoulder surgery, which is why I'm still here. Right. So the van, the pickup has just been kind of getting you in between seeing the country. Yes. I had the idea of living in it and I was looking for a shell, but I couldn't find one for 2000 I found this in Tucson for $100, looking at the camera, and just fixed it up. Right, and really well. I mean, it's it seems remarkably comfortable for a pickup shell. It is, and now I'm just finding out what I need and what I don't need, and can I do this? Right. I can do this, maybe not in the pickup truck. And you're probably waiting on um, on Social Security? I'm 54 years old, it's gonna oh, be a you're, while. You're waiting a long <laughs> time. Did you have the pickup when you decided to, or did you buy it after? I bought it after my decision to give it all up, and sold my car motorcycles and bought this off of Craigslist. Yeah, and that's one thing I, uh, people, you, pickups are a lot easier to find than vans. Yes. Good, good used vans are really becoming hard to find, but there are a lot of pickups out there, good used pickups. This was in very nice, the guy kept great shape. Yeah. Great shape. And so it's not as comfortable as a van, that's why you're looking for the van. Well, it would be as comfortable if it was just taller, <laughs> if I could stand up, Right. you know. But also a safety factor. Right. I, I've learned, I've boondocked a lot, but only with other people. I've never done it by myself because I'm too scared that I'll have to crawl out of the back of my truck and run around to my driver's seat if something feels uncomfortable. So right. a van, bed to driver's seat, that's what I want. Yes, yeah, that's, that really is a big safety issue. Yes. A lot of, and, and you're right to be concerned about it. Uh, the odds of anything, ha uh, you being in a situation where it mattered are very low, but still it, it feels unsafe i'm a chicken and i'm just out here with the gal van nation trying to learn how to boondock and little by little maybe i can learn to do it by myself without being scared 
And you've made it pretty comfortable, yeah. I think. I've gone to a lot of campsites where you know there's people over there and there's people over there, so it's just not as scary as when you're out in the middle of the desert alone. Yeah. Which I do go hiking, but I don't spend the night. Right. Yeah. Well, why don't we take a look at, uh, at inside your rig and see how you've got it set up. Okay. Okay, let's do that. So now you're going to uh, show us around your mansion in here. But you know, you can have everything you need, and I'm sure you already do. Uh, so you paid $100 for the shell. Yes. That's a cheap home for 100 bucks. If you already own the, if you have a pickup to transportation, $100 more for a shell. So why don't you go ahead and show us what you've done. Well, the first thing I did was have this hard shell sprayed on. So you got a bed liner on. around. Bed liner, that's what it's called. And then I put this wood board down. This is like the fourth revision though. I had it all the way across, but I needed more space. So I don't have half a board. Mm -hmm. I treated it with the mold paint and all that stuff. First. Very good. It will. It would mold, yeah. yeah. And then I got these puzzle mats. Somebody donated them. Uh, I was out on the Air Force Base and uh, someone got transferred. So I got the puzzle mats. So I put that on top of the wood. And, well, no, I didn't. I put this shipping foam down first for my knees. And then I put the puzzle mats. And so because you're crawling a lot. Yeah, yeah. on my knees a lot. Yeah. yeah. And then I got these dollar store rugs. Figure if I get them all dirty, they're a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> so I got those, and then I, it's all Very squishy. Soft. Uh -huh. Squishy. And my Wally Mart special stool, because I'm shrinking. <laughs> and that's what I use for my knees. There you go. It's no problem. Mm -hmm. And that's my Mr. Buddy, which I don't burn in here because I'm scared. I tried so it once, and it's too hot, and I don't have ventilation. Right. I built this bed. First, I had bought a bed off of uh, Amazon with the metal legs and sawed them down, and I just slid stuff under, but it had those bowed things, and it just didn't fit right. So this is my second bed. So have you built this one yourself? This one I built. Yeah, and you've got good storage underneath it. Yes, I do. It splits right here, and I left the, this end open so I could slide in my power supply and my kitchen uh, stuff. And... When I'm inside, I can lift it up this way. And I'm gonna put these things on eventually, unless I find a van first. And then I put a notch up here to hold it open. There you go. Really and, good storage. And yes, you're gonna ask sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, of course. There it is, with a camera lid. There it is, <laughs> with a camera lid. And um, that's my kitchen. And the animal, uh, all natural fiber stuff for like for guinea pig cages and stuff, uh -huh. instead of sawdust or kitty litter. Uh -huh. And that's this part, the back window reflectix. I can actually run this little heater on the Goal Zero that I just bought secondhand uh, three days ago. Oh wow, good. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't that cold. Okay, so that's that half. I got a camping mat and. Uh, Five dollar special at a garage sale. There you go. Same here. It's a plant table, but you know, it works. My USB fans, and then my I just bought these baskets to slide things out. They don't they don't slide out. Continue. And this is my Queen of Reflectix crown. No, this is my. <laughs> this, <laughs> when the light's too bright, this dulls it from the outside, but I still can see it really good in here. So we leftover stuff. Yeah. Four inch foam from um, a upholstery store. And this half is closed off, and I've got stuff I don't use very often. And I have a portable shower and jumper cables and some tools. And I also keep a full toolbox in the back seat. So that's that, and the tracks are back here in case I get stuck in the mud or something. Oh, uh huh. Which yep. I luckily haven't had to use yet. And what else? Oh. I just keep this here. It's also my fire poker. <laughs> <laughs> this is a blanket my kids gave to me years ago and it's very warm because <laughs> I'm a hippie. Army wool. This is a supposedly a negative 30 degree sleeping bag. Packed with Sherpa. <laughs> very warm, too warm. And then my pillows and uh, this came carpeted. So I Velcro everything. Like I put my glasses up here at night. Oh, that's a good idea. And this, 
I bought these for my windshield, but they were too small. So it's um, reflected on one side and black on the other. Enough light, place to sleep. Yes. And you're cooking homeless. outside. I am cooking outside. Okay, one more question. I have to always ask everyone two questions. How do you use the bathroom? You've showed us that. And how do you take a shower or keep clean? Oh, well, I do have a gym membership. Yes, there you go. If I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a uh, pump? Pump up? Yeah, it's a pump up. Black nail spring, you put it in the, in the sun. It's got this long cord. Oh no, I've never seen one of those. That rinse is very on, rinse good. Off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just like uh, you know, the garden sprayers. You yes. just pump it up and you build pressure. And I was studying and studying how to do these and then uh, asking questions and someone said, you know, they got these at Sports Authority for like nineteen ninety nine. Ta -da. That's ideal. Yeah. So that's the shower. And so now you because you have a really small home, uh, you spend a lot of time outside. Yes. So you set up a pretty elaborate outside camp. You do your cooking outside? I do my cooking outside right there on that uh, hitch rack. Um, that I just got, that little potty tent thingy. Uh huh. Because I knew I was coming with a group of people and I yes. thought that would be better stuff. Yeah, that makes it easier. That's my fridge. I bought a Pelican off the Craigslist. Cooler. But since I got the Goal Zero, I have to look into getting a solar panel and a Dometic. Yes. yes. That'll make your life a lot better. And they make a real small one that will fit in here, no problem. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the back seat because you get a okay. lot of storage back there. Have you removed the seat or is it just folded up? I removed the seats but kept the padding on the back because of the hump. It wouldn't matter if I took that out or not. So your camp, your outdoor camp, is in mm -hmm. here. Then you get it somewhere, you set up your camp, uh -huh. and you have... Uh, Extra supplies. Yeah. And uh, I carry my toolbox with me. And all my reflectics and window coverings. That there is all the clothes I own right there in that bag. It's a what? <laughs> all the clothes I own. Really? <laughs> and I got my photographer chair and I use that photographer lighting thing to put the Lucy light up high at night so mm -hmm. I can see. And um, so that's more space. Good. But I want to take this out. My thought was to take this, which is a, you have to take the center with it and put a Dometic right here as my yes. console and armrest put a solar on here and have the um, the Yeti Goal Zero back here. I found this in New Jersey on Craigslist, the, the hitch, for, I don't know, $35, already put together. Bought the hitch and I thought it was too low to the ground and it, it brings it closer and I can't open my tailgate. So I got this off of eBay, which raises it up. Perfect. It, but then when I have my stuff on, you can't see my license plate, so I just drilled some holes, put it up here, and this is my license plate light, a little book light, <laughs> but I just tie wrapped it on there. Good enough. And um, since I can't see it, I put these on here so I can see it in my rear view mirrors. Very good. Make sure it's still there when I'm going down right. the highway. And now when I go uphill, it won't scrape, and I can open my tailgate all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, good, I, that's what I've done. Idea. You gotta work with what you got. You right? do. <laughs> so this is your uh, your uh, Yeti, not Yeti, but uh, oh, Pelican. Pelican. And you just keep the reflectics to help it stay cool. Well, this is I, this is a reject of mine from trying to do the back window thing. So I thought I'd just use it to cover this. Mm -hmm. But I also store my tarp. This keeps it really warm. More shipping stuff. More reflectics. Yeah. <laughs> and. I'll clip them together so when I open it, normally it, they won't all fall off. Reflect it inside. Yes, very good idea. <laughs> I'll go get all that. And that's it. Oh, and whenever I can, if I'm visiting or whatever, I freeze all my water bottles and stick them in here. Good idea. Yep. Blocks and, stay colder and uh, yes. And you get water. But if I put a block in there, it's going to take up half of it. So the water bottles I'm going to drink. And, yeah. And yeah. Cold water is more pleasant. Yes. And. That's my refrigerator for now. <laughs> right? No, it works great. I I lived uh, my first couple of years were with a uh, cooler, and I it worked fine. Well, thank you so much, Sharon. I really appreciate your sharing your home. And folks, there's some really valuable lessons. Uh, a, a pickup is far more comfortable than your car would be. A lot more room. You can sleep stretched out. A lot more space. You can stuff you can carry and. Uh, 
So if you can afford a, a pickup, they're easier to find in a van, still be comfortable, and uh, you can you can make your way through even even the worst of times. Yes, yes, I have a home even when I don't have a home. You'll never be homeless. I'll never be homeless because you got a home. I do. Paid for and in your name. And built by me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Custom designed. <laughs> Custom designed. Yes. <laughs> Custom architecture. <laughs> So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this. I know you did. Uh, if you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.